Hello family, here are some fun photos and videos from our trip in Uganda. Okay, when did we arrive? Pastor James, the church. Yes, the land is very fair. Yes, yeah, very rich. But they do a lot of agriculture. Yeah, yeah. Other stuff you want to go for it. Ghana is called the Pearl of Africa. I was still some type of way. I was like, why not Ghana? But when we touched down, I realized Uganda is beautiful. My goodness. Can I see why? So beautiful. Hi guys, we're from in Uganda. It's Pastor Chama, say hi. Hi. Meneva, his wife, beautiful wife. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> guys, remember the zombie videos that Robin Kim on in Kenya? And have father Derek. Are you glad? Um, it's It's been a wonderful time here. We just left uh, Pastor James' church. They had an altar prayers from eight to ten, and we're doing the marriage group. Um, <laughs> when we do the marriage group this evening, uh, Brother George asked us to uh, lead the marriage group uh, as a few couples. <laughs> And we're going to stay at his place too as well. So you guys tune in as we vlog a whole trip. And we may even have to stay now until the uh, prayer camp is over. So excited to see what the Lord will do. Right guys? Guys, guys we are taking all the blessings from mother and father. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> we, like I said, we have, we have none. We're treating everything from our children. We're gleaning from them. <laughs> so I think the Lord, the God's been faithful. God's been really, really faithful. And we're so excited to be here. And thank you guys so much for your prayers. And for those who donate to make this possible. All right, love you guys. Hi. <laughs> welcome to Uganda. Yeah, yes. welcome to Uganda. <laughs> We were first welcomed by a wonderful group during the marriage fellowship and got to celebrate Pastor Chama's birthday with him for the first time. We grew up as an orphan and had never celebrated it before. We thank the Lord for our heart that was found in Uganda who made it possible and special for him. We also got a chance to visit Lifeway Christian Church for Sunday service and realized how much Pastor James loves the children. It was such a blessing. <laughs>
also visited our Ugandan Heart Dwellers Family Church. Would you know it's St. Francis Chapel, which is not a coincidence by any means. Thank you, St. Francis, for praying for us. We then got the great privilege to visit the Ugandan Martyrs Catholic Shrine Basilica in Namungongo. The Ugandan Martyrs Shrine is one of the largest Christian pilgrimage destinations in Africa, dedicated to the 22 martyrs and saints of Uganda, who were martyred between 1885 and 1887 by the King of Buganda. Since 2016, 350,000 have come and thousands walk from miles from all over the world, especially in East Africa, to attend the 3rd of June, which is a feast day. I'd like to provide a little background story on the martyrs as you watch the video. The first to be martyred on 15th of November 1885 was the King's Major and Christian leader Joseph Mukasa. He was killed because he had pleaded with the King not to kill Bishop James Haginton, an Anglican missionary who had made an attempt to enter Buganda from the east then considered to be the back door of the kingdom, Joseph was beheaded and burnt at the swamp at the Kampala city center. The main persecution that led to the Holocaust broke out the 25th of May, 1886. Then a royal enclosure near Lake Victoria, when King Mwanga condemned Christians to death with spearing and condemning to death two of the martyrs on the same day. On the 26th of May, 1886, as ceremonial openings of the death march where one martyr was speared and his corpse was hacked in pieces and scattered in all directions. In the morning of the 27th of May 1886, one of the martyrs who was thirsty for martyrdom volunteered to be executed on the spot at the foot of Mengol Hill where Joseph Mukasa's leader had been martyred earlier. While at Old Kampala, one of the martyrs on his way to the execution site refused to walk further in demanding for execution. His hands were cut off first, flesh removed from his back and roasted, then his legs cut off and blood vessels and veins tied and traditional herbs applied to wounds to stop him from overbleeding. He died three days later from thirst. The remaining were all tied up on their necks and feet, one to another by cords and slave yokes or by stocks. The Ugandan martyrs had to walk over 10 miles to reach Namungongo. But about a mile from the destination, another, mar another martyr could not keep up with the pace and collapse. He was speared about midday on the 27th of May, 1886. The remaining Ugandan martyrs were confined for about a week before execution. In that time, the executions went about with preparatory activities like collection of firewood, cutting off reeds to be used in the event. This took them until 2nd of June. On the 3rd of June, 1886, on the Feast of Ascension, Charles Lawanga became the first victim of Holocaust. He was singled out and burnt apart from the others. Charles Luanga was taken to a spot about 50 yards from the road. He was allowed to arrange his own deathbed of firewood, then wrapped in reeds laid on the pyre and was burnt slowly from the foot to the head about midday 3rd June 1886. The rest of the 12 Catholics that were burnt in the Great Holocaust together were 13 Anglicans and 6 other prisoners that were on death sentences for other offenses and other than religion. For more information about Ugandan martyrs, go to the website ugandanmartyrshrine.org.ug.
Thank you, family. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember us and donate to support the Phase 2 City of God building project. We get to clear the land this week. Also, please register for the next consecration camp with Pastor James from July 25th to August 4th. The link will be in the description. God bless you, family, until the next message.